when you say blockage what exactly are those things that we can use you know um, for this part of the world because mm -hmm. our part is where you come from yeah in your part of the world anything goes right anyone can do anything but in this part of the world we have religion yes so deeply the rules don't the bible says that this says that that says you know you have you have tradition mm -hmm. you know and then i remember you said something about the clitoris you know that the people have different size of clitoris mm -hmm. but in in this part of the world also we have people who circumcise women exactly you know and so and that's they don't have yes any clitoris so what can a woman do at that point because i know a lot of men are having issues with helping their women get orgasm they try so hard mm -hmm. they do everything they soak they use their finger they use the crown of the penis but she just won't get it she just feels like i'm not feeling anything mm -hmm. because there's no clitoris so exactly. my main question now is if you don't have a clitoris, does that stop you from having an orgasm? It doesn't because the head of the clitoris is just the head. There's more of it. So it's basically like penis, except it's formed differently. Mm. So the part that we see sticking out of our vulva is just the head of it. That's the part that's damaged typically when women are circumcised. It lives in a hood or a sleeve of skin that's supposed to keep the tissues moist. But when the hood is removed, it keratinizes the head, making it hard. So it basically deadens the nerve. Mm -hmm. But if the head is destroyed completely, then you're not gonna feel anything there. That's scar tissue, that's a trauma spot. But the inner clitoris, which kind of looks like a wishbone of a turkey, Okay. Neck, or wherever you find the wishbone in a turkey, like it looks just like that. Little wings come off and yeah. then bulbs. Yeah. The bulbs and the wings basically surround the vagina. That's what gives the vagina its feeling. That, the urethral um, sponge and the perennial sponge. These are all beds of erectile tissue. 